Uh, this is Dr. Roger Knapp, a pediatrician. Um, real common to see the kids come in with bite marks on them from the daycare. Or the parent comes in complaining that their child is biting another child. And this is a common uh, defense mechanism in kids because when they get into an argument at 18 months to 2 years of age, they're not going to discuss it. <laughs> so their only choice is to hit, kick, bite, scream, run to the daycare person or mother. And if they uh, cry, the parent or daycare person says, y'all be quiet. Or if they come complaining, y'all get along and just play together better. And you know, oh, don't hit or kick somebody, mm, then they're left with biting and it's real effective. <laughs> it hurts like crazy and they usually get the response they're looking for. Um, so it's a kind of a normal re uh, reflex of kids when they get into disagreement. And as they get older, hopefully they'll shift to then arguing about it. Um, then, of course, as we get into grade school, high school, junior high, and then they frequently end up hitting. And uh, so hopefully they continue to discuss it. But 18 months to two, eh, it's real common to see them bite. The main thing is that they not get what they want. So the, if the child bites to get a toy or whatever, eh, you certainly don't want to reward it. Um, punishing it, I, I don't recommend biting them for biting. It just seems like you're doing what you want them not to do. Um, some of the parents will squeeze their cheeks, trying to remind them don't bite. Uh, the timeout works real good. Um, but, the, but to bite them back, I, I just don't recommend it. If you bite somebody and happen to get a little bit of blood in your mouth, then that's a risk of you getting an illness. But when your child comes home with a bite mark on their arm, it hardly ever goes through the saliva. So the, those bite marks that are just usually left up with a bruise and not broken skin, they're not going to get a disease. Um, now, real common to see them bite just a specific child. They'll bite this one, but not those. And if that's the situation, have the mutt parent of the daycare try to keep them, those two kids more separated or when they do get interact, keep a close eye on them. And you can almost tell that they're going to bite. Some of the kids will bite the parent and it's the same thing. They don't get what they want, squeeze their cheeks and say no. And eventually these kids will stop, especially when they're better able to communicate. Well, that's my gist on, on biting. It's, uh, it's pretty common. Thank you.